Hi, welcome to Team Woolly Sheep Reviews. The What For by Rip Max. The only plane my wife has bought for me. So it's very treasured and close to my heart. Now obviously being radio controlled, one of the most important features is the control gear. Being a, a cheap foamy model, they don't push the boat out with quality servos. I hadn't had it long, I was flying it, and one of my servos decided to fail. Got hot, melted, it actually took the five volt control circuit down. So one servo burnt out, plane fell out of sky, no controls. One thing about crashing a plane, when you've repaired it, it's not so precious. You, you do tend to push it a little harder then. And I found that it's been a good learning curve flying with the Watt 4. I wouldn't have said it's an outright beginner plane, but it is a good plane for beginners. I've changed the servos. I got Metal Gear servos in, in here for the rudder and tail because I had that failure. However, I've never done the wings. And recently when I was flying, I noticed one of the wing servos starting to flutter. So I've decided it's time to change the servos. I started to change servos and then I thought I should document this because this is not as straightforward as I expected. Thank you, Rip Max. Right, not sure what version, what for this is, but obviously it's the foam model and they've got little servo covers. So I was assuming pop the servo cover off, change the servo, job done, be nice and easy. Now to get that servo off, cover off, it's glued. So what you need to do, I know it sounds obvious, you can prise it, but you'll probably break it because like I did, I started to prise it and, I th and then it suddenly broke. I, I wasn't sure that it clipped on. So what you do, you'll get your, your hobby knife and very carefully cut around the foam close to the plastic, not the plastic. And then you can peel it off and it'll come off. This is very fragile plastic. Now the servo is held in by two screws which you couldn't get to because the screws that hold the servo on were protruding too far in to get your screwdriver on the screw so I can only assume that they screwed it to the wood, screwed the servo in and then glued it in place on, on production which is a pain in the bum but so I managed to wrestle and get them out. This is one of the servo servos that come out the wing and as you can see it's got quite a long cable on it which your replacement servos won't have a cable that long. So you're left with either having a coupler or a, or a joint. Cheap plastic, unbranded as you can see. So a bit disappointing. They've also got this type of, of uh, push rod coupler with a plastic, it's crap. Don't go back there. So I've got some nice Metal Gear servos. But anyway, so I've got some, I think they're Corona, irrelevant but they're, they're the micro size. And I've replaced it and fixed it in there, as you can see. It's in there. And I don't know whether you can make out, but what I've done on the servo arm, I've actually changed, uh, turned this push rod around and actually used the Z connection through the arm of the new servo arm. So I've used the Hobby King aluminium clevises, which are adjustable with two grub screws. So I find that easy. So as long as you centralize the servo, put the arm on, bang it in, you know you can do the fine adjustments without having to take and do the clevis, twist and tighten. Or With these, you just slacken off the grub screws, position the arm, lock the grub screws in, job done. So I quite like these aluminium ones. So on the end of the push rod, it's shaped like a, a Z. And so with this Z section, it's simply the control horn. So it pushes in, but it's a good, good all round. I don't, you, you rely, it's not gonna come off or break. Relying on little plastic clips, you don't wanna go back in there again. That is a mechanical connection in one piece, no joints. That can't pull out, it can't go anywhere. The only thing you've got to watch is that you don't enlarge the holes too big that it's all sloppy and loose. And then obviously the aluminium clevises come in a kit like this. And as you can see, they've got the grub screws for clamping onto, I think it's up to two mil or two and a half mil 
a hole in the end so you push rod so you can use carbon and they're pretty handy when they're available in hobby king if i place an order i generally order some of these to make sure i got some in stock so that should be a big improvement so as you can see now as i said the cable through the wing there's the hole there is quite a tight pull so what i did i had some some of this cable and i actually taped it on to the servo and pulled the old servo out the cable out and it was quite a pull i had to be very careful and pull the wire in and then what i did i put my plug on the end of the servo so if i ever want to change the servo and poke the slack into this section of the wing there there's a hollow there so if i take the servo out in the future i can put it out there, and there's a, a standard servo servo connection there another thing you can do is to get yourself a servo extension lead cut off the end the plug end whoa let's stop the video there there's a, a channel in the wing and that channel is quite narrow now when i tried to feel how much slack there was in that cable it was very tight and there was resistance now what you can't be doing is pulling the servo out and then spending hours trying to get something back in to be able to pull the cable back in for the new servo what i was saying the cable for the servo wasn't long enough to go through the wing so you needed an extension so if you've got yourself a nice set of long servo extension leads then you're simply going to plug that onto your servo pull the servo out pull that in but i don't think that that plug will fit through the wing channel because when i was pulling it was as much as i could do to pull the existing plug out and i i thought i was going to actually rip it off however attached to the the old servo cable was my new bit of cable that i tied on that i could use as a drawstring what i mean by a drawstring is when i come to put one of these back in i can simply tape it on and use the the cable to pull this one out if this was to get jammed or caught up i can simply pull it back out and try again but if this failed at least i've got that wire in now i could either use that wire and solder or or crimp new plugs on if you've got the crimper then you could put new servo plugs on and, and make your own servo lead however if you haven't it's going to be a struggle because ideally you want one of them plugs near the servo so if you ever have to replace the servo you can simply plug the servo back in and away to go you haven't got to go through this hassle again but those servo leads on the original servos were unusually long so they the replacement servos will never be that long so you're going to end up having to put a cable in so what i was suggesting is that if this cable is a problem getting this plug in so if you give it a try and it fails then you can be using that 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 drawstring type it onto the middle pull it in if you can manage to get that in happy days if you can't then at least what you can do is cut that end off which means this end then is at the servo end where you can plug your servo in and then you can simply solder that plug in back on at the end so in the future when i want to change these servos that's all i have to do is take those screws out pull the slack out and then i have a conventional servo coupler i put a bit of um heat shrink on there to keep the the plug in obviously we don't want this to unplug because it's going to fall out the sky i simply push the slack back into the wing and this and it stays in there out of the way job done so changing the servos in the future sometimes you get a noisy servo or jittering don't take a chance get rid of them my wing is ready ready to go with a new set of servos i hope you enjoyed that video there's lots more to come, so if you haven't already, then I suggest you click the button and subscribe below. Well, you know you want to. Subscribe now, don't miss out. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.